hello how are you i hope you are doing good so today we will solve the problem number of possible sets of closing branches from the biweekly contest 119 it is an hard problem and i will try to explain the question and let's see the intuition and the idea behind it let's uh, coding part in the end we will see but let's see the how we should approach this type of problems <coughs> so please please watch slowly and if you are not understanding please pause and rewatch the same part because understanding this takes lots of effort so i will give my best to explain you in a best possible way so he is saying that there is a company with n branches across the city so let's take this example n is equals to 3 he is saying that there are three branches across the city yes 0 1 and 2 three branches some of which are connected by roads initially all branches are reachable from each other by traveling some roads we saying that they are connected by roads and in the beginning in the beginning all are connected if you are starting from any of the node you can reach to any other branch now let's take see this example only 0 to 1 is saying 2 and it is 10 and here we have 10 and in the second scenario now the company has realized that they are spending an excessive amount of time traveling between their branches okay as a result they have decided to close down some of these branches oh because of their expenses they are thinking to <coughs> close the, close down their branches however they want to ensure that the remaining branches have a distance of at most maximum distance from each other okay from saying that i will close the branch i will close the branch but after closing that branch remaining all other branches maximum distance should be less than k okay, less than maximum distance sorry the distance between two branches is the minimum total length needed to reach one branch from another so it's saying that if i have suppose like this 1 to 2 i have distance 3 but 1 to 3 i have distance 1 and 3 to 2 i have distance 1 so what will be my minimum distance it will be 2 i'll go from 1 to 3 3 to 2 is saying that thing the distance between two branches is the minimum total travel needed to reach one branch from other you are given n max distance and the roads represent this is two vertices and this is my weight the under director now return the number of possible sets is saying that we should return the number of possible sets so that my branch should be less than maximum distance so let's see let's see with this example if you see here he saying that sets the possible sets of closing are a sab diya hua hai inhone now let's take only one so i will saying that i will close branch one theek hai branch one close kar diya agar if i am closing branch one every path will get destroyed so the only path i left with 0 to 2 but if you see 0 to 2 the distance is 10 which is failing my condition so i can't remove one okay one to nahi nikal nahi sakta let's remove zero if we remove zero we are getting one to two which is the distance is 10 zero lagane se bhi fail ho ja raha now let's remove two if we remove two zero to one which is two which is less than my maximum distance yeah this is success set to if we remove two this is success if we remove zero one i am only left with two and 1 2 i am left with if if we are removing everything only one branch is left uh, it is internally how much it will take it will take zero that's why you can see all these scenarios now it can be proven that there are only five possible ways and you can remove everything oh, there are no branches at all that is also one scenario and i think you understood it let's see with another example and then we will understand the intuition and the most important thing is the constraints in this problem <laughs> let's see the constraints as well n is equal to 3 maximum distance he has given and this is my graph see set 0 after closing act to branches are 0 1 and 2 0 1 and 2 and they are reachable to each other within a distance of 4 <coughs> you see 0 to 1 i am we can distance 4 1 to 0 4 0 to 2 that's why set empty is also satisfying the only thing which is failing here is 2 if you remove 2 0 to 1 these both will get eliminated 0 to 1 which is 10 it will fail so my total 
R7. So I will explain how, how we got with 7. So if you think n is equals to 3, n is equals to 3. So if there are how many possibilities will be there? If you see here, let's see with the bits. We have 0, 1, 2. And these are my bits. I can have 0, 0, 0. If it is 0, I am not considering anything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. If you see here, these are my bits. If I convert my, now if you see constraints here, n is given 10, n is given 10. So total how many possibilities can be there? 2 power 10. sorry I got cough and cold so total there will be 2 power 10 so I will keep 0 to 10 0 to 10 and at every index I should change so I think you have know, know this 5 if you are going from 0 to 7 we will see all the possibilities In, uh, 0 0 0 0 1 if it is 1 I will include this if it is 0 I will not include In the same way everything can be described 2 power 10 possibilities I will check ok that is done Max distance is 10 power 5, rule length is 1000. Okay, this is my 2 power 10, it is approximately 1000. And he is saying that 1000 rule length, so it will be order of n square. Definitely it is going to work. So let's see. Now we have came up with this. After coming up with this, we will, we should know uh, how we will check, like my distance is minimum or not. If you remember, if you are at 0, if you are going to 1, 2, 3 and what you will do in distra? What distra, distra algorithm say? It is the minimum shortest path algorithm. From single node it will start here and it will go to the all nodes. From this node you will calculate all the nodes with a minimum distance. Distra does. In this, in this we want every other node. Now if you are at 0, now if you are at 0 and if you want, if you want to go to 2. You can take any possible way. You can go to 3 or you can go to 4 or you can directly go. You can go to 5 or you can go. In this way you can go to 2 in this possible directions and you want the minimum. You want the minimum. And uh, you, I think you have got the mask and this will be my minimum things. Minimum distance from every node. So you can use Floyd Varshall. That is a minimum shortest path algorithm. So I thought of explaining that but I think there are lots of resources available in the YouTube and I found out this pretty good link flight Varshal. you can see here how we can calculate the minimum distance uh, or else you can go to YouTube and if you click flight Varshal, there are a bunch of videos so you can see them Lakin, there is only one condition if you apply flight Varshal, and I will check with the set bits every time every time so let's see the coding uh, so first distance is maximum this is the my flawed version so get maximum distance here we are going with the mask <coughs> mask so if you see here one and <coughs> power of 2 comma n is calculating this is similar to that and get maximum distance mask n d and at every point at every point i am checking the mask because if i am removing two here I have to check 0, 1, every possibility I need to check. It is similar to this. If you are at this, only the uh, uh, edge with 0, only vertex 0 is selected. If you are at this position, vertex 0 and vertex 1 is selected. For this, only we are applying the shortest path. This is a like a standard thing. Like suppose if you want to go to 0 to 1, you can take different paths. We can go to uh, 2, 3, 4, 5 from any of this you will get the minimum but the most important thing is the mask and then we will check then we will check like in distance array we will check my maximum and we will return the result and if this is less than my maximum distance I will increment my result and we will return the result that's it so that uh, the time will be like if you see here it's taking order of n cube and these combinations are total order of uh, ten, uh, total 2 power 10 
that means it is 10 power 3 combinations and my n is 10 10 10 10 which is 10 power 3 10 power 3 into 10 power 3 that is 10 power 6 and I am using extra space for dij ij can be it is 2d array 2d array it is 10 into 10 I am using extra space that's it I think you understood it if you understood the solution please please do like and subscribe to my channel I think you understood the approach the solution part it's pretty easy if you go to flight virtual or you can also use minimum disrupt uh, algorithm as well and really like if one uh, one request from mind if you like the intuition part you can upload the video and thank you for watching